Well, I'm going to talk about Napoleon Bonaparte. Uh, well, um, history, ambition, will, bravery, intelligence, pride, cruelty, greatness. These are some names that would perfectly describe this character in history. Despised by some, magnified by others, exalted, vilified, contradictory spirits that can be read and heard about him. With his military intelligence, he was able to conquer Eastern and Western Europe, reaching North Africa. <clears throat> who, had, who was him? Was a French military and political leader who rose the prominence during the French Revolution and led several successful campaigns during the Revolutionary Wars. He was the de facto leader of the French Republic as first consul from uh, 1799 to 1804. As Napoleon I, he was emperor of the French from 1804 until 1814 and again in 1815. Napoleon dominated the European and global affairs for more than a decade while leading France against a series of coalitions in the Napoleonic Wars. <clears throat> Early life, upon graduating in September 1785, Bonaparte was commissioned a second lieutenant Tenant in the Lafayre Artillery Regiment. He served in Belize and Auxon until after he, the outbreak of the revolution in 1789. The young man still was a fervent Corsican, Corsican nationalist during this period and asked for leave to join his mentor, Pasquale Paoli, when the latter was allowed to return to Corsica by the National Assembly. The, the cause of the of Napoleon's death has been debated. His physician, Franco Carlo Antomarchi, led the autopsy, which found the cause of death by stomach cancer. And Tomarchi did not see, sign the official report. Napoleon's father had died of stomach cancer, although this was apparently unknown at the time of the autopsy. And Tomarchi found evidence of a stomach's ulcer. This was the most convenient explanation for the British, who wanted to avoid criticism of their, over their care of Napoleon. And that's all, teacher. Thank you, Antonio. Thank you so much. Let me add you to the list. Let's keep on checking the presentations from the ones who are missing. Okay. Let's see. The next one in the list is Carlos. Hello, Carlos. Do you have your presentation ready to start? I make a video. Ah, okay. Can you play the video? Uh, yeah. Let me make you a co host. So, okay. You have the video ready and you are already a co host. So, when you want to show the video, let's go. You can see, teacher? Yes, we can watch it. Let's go. Okay. Let me open. Of course. But there's no sound. Can you can you show your screen with sound and video, please? Stop sharing and later you start sharing again, but in the bottom of the of when when you present, you will see that it says share sound and optimize for video clip. And there you can share with us your video. <clears throat> well, I think that I put it on. Raspati also know as Did you hear teacher? Yes. Oh perfect. Raspati also known as Methmon was born on January 22, 1869.
in Russia and it will be precisely in his homeland that he became world famous as a result of the notable influence he managed to exert one of the last active generations on Romanov dynasty which was established in Russia in and in charge of throne since the 17th century. He was an exclusive character who was particularly close to the core of Russian imperial family, the Romanov. At the age of 18, Rasputin entered the Bekorthir monastery in Russia to become a monk, but left soon after to get married. Caesar Nicholas II of Russia and his wife Alexandra Fyodorovna were pursued to seek help for their sick son Alexei Romanov, who suffered from hemophilia. During the absence of Caesar Nicholas, who took command of the Russian battalion in 1950, his dominance over Tsarina Alejandra grew and influenced the Tsarina in the selection and determination of people to place in various positions in the regime. On December 29 of 1960, Felix lured Rasputin to his palace with the promise that he would see Irina for who he was fascinated. Once there in basement room, they gave him hinazite, cream cakes, which, which he ate. Since the potion did not affect him, Felix shot him with a dramatic brawling revolver. They believed that Rasputin was dead, but he got up and flew through the backyard of the palace. Purskevich fired his saved pistol, hitting him twice and killing him. They transferred their body in a car and threw into the river through a hole in the ice. And that's all, teacher. <laughs> all right. I think it's a great video about the life of these two characters, Napoleon and Rasputin. Yes. They were really nice. Let's keep on watching the presentations or videos from the other ones. Eric goes next in the list. Hello, Eric. Are you ready to present? Yes, teacher. Okay, Eric, let me make you co-host. Where are you? Ready? You've been turned to a co-host. You have your camera on, please, Eric. If you're so fine. Uh, is any kind of problem? I don't turn on my camera, teacher. Well, not really, but okay, let's do it. Thank you. Okay, my presentation is about Confucius, and he was a renowned Chinese thinker whose doctrine was called Confucianism. He was born in 551 BC to 479 BC. Uh, Confucius managed to develop a moral code based on principles such as respect and kindness. Even today, more than 2000 years later, we can take the teachings of Confucius as the basis for enjoying a happy life. Uh, Confucianism can be understood as a humanistic and social ethic of a system centered on the relationships between humans and beings. It's a religion made based on all the teachings and doctrines present preached by Confucius, mainly the love for humanity. Uh, within his teachings, he speaks of the principle principles such as respect, godness, justice, and wisdom. Uh, Confucius was credited with the fact that all av available education was available to all. And since during those times, only the children of royalty had the right to education. So Confucius founded his own school where people of any kind of class called attend. 
and during his life, he also shared some phrases that even today, after many years, continue to give us many teachings and lessons of life. For example, learning without think thinking is useless. Thinking without learning is dangerous. And, and a defective diamond is better than pebble without a diamond. And the, it flows and you will know its virtues. Uh, for example, in the last sentence, me, he teaches us that all people are made up of virtues and defects, and that we must always see the virtues in the person instead of the defects. defects. And that's all, teacher. Great, Eric. Thank you very much for your presentation about Confucius. Who goes next? Let me see. Yeah, I think the, the upcoming student to present it's Ivan. Hello, Ivan. Are you ready to show your presentation? Yes, I am ready. Okay, are you going to have your camera on? Yes. Okay, that's great. Let's do it. Who's your character? I cannot share teacher. Ah, yes, it's because I haven't made you a purpose. I'm sorry. Okay. Done. Let's go. Okay. You see it? Yes. Yes, I can. Let's go. Okay. Hi, classmates and teacher. Today, I am going to talk about Annie Frank. So, let's start. The history of Annie Frank. Well, I'm going to talk about the short life of Annie Frank. She was a uh, Jew and she was born in a German city of Frankfurt. Frankfurt in 1929 uh, in those uh, days of the history Hitler was gaining more and more power and Hitler blamed the Jews for the bad, bad economic situation in Germany uh, Annie Frank had a family. She had a oldest sister. She had a father and a mother, obviously. But they decided to move to Amsterdam. And then they moved to Netherlands. This because of the imminent danger that was uh, making Adolf Hitler and all the repress that was making to the Jews. And let's continue. Annie Frank uh, and her family uh, well decided to hide uh, in the same place where her father was walking and other members. Um, in those days, uh, where they were, they, <laughs> they uh, were hiding, um, she received a, a say, present, a diary, where she write uh, her thoughts and started writing the a novel and unfortunately uh, for all of their family they were discovered and they were they were uh, debated because there was uh, concentration camps for men and for woman so her father were 
well, alone, and her mother, sister, and were in a concentration camp for women only. And unfortunately, uh, Annie Frank died because of the bad condition in the camp, in the concentration camp. And her sister too, and her mother the same. And the only, uh, the only family member that survived was her father, Otto. As you can see, he is in the photograph, standing in the same place where all of her, all of his family was hiding. And he decided to publish the diary of his daughter. And he hoped that readers of the diary will become aware of the dangers of discrimination, racism, and hatred of Jews. And that's all. That's it. That's all. <laughs> Thank you. Great. Thank you for this presentation about Anne Frank. It was really good. It was an important character. Many people, they probably didn't notice so much stuff about her, but I think it's a remarkable um, character in history because she she said lots of stuff that we have no idea that of the terrible things that happen in these camps, right? Thank you so much you know, for your presentation. Who's next? Let me check it out. Well, according to this, Mariana is going to be the next one. Hey, Mariana, are you there? Ready to present? Um, yes, teacher. Hey, Mariana, let me make you a co-host. Who's going to be your character, Mariana? Um, can you see me my presentation? Yes, I can. Let's go. Um, okay. Well, I talk about Valentina Ramirez Avitia. And if you remember the movie of Disney, of Mulan, well, Valentina is the Mexican Mulan. Okay, first, who is she? Uh, she was born in September 1893. In San Antonio, Valentina wanted to follow his father when he was in a revolutionary fit, but the insurgent force did not uh, accept women into their ranks. Uh, 17 year old, Valentina had to decide herself as a, a boy. She dresses in her brother's clothes, had hit the brace in a shed, no, sorry. Um, the brace in a head called herself Juan Ramirez. Learned to ride a horse and use weapons and went to the front with the 33 carbine and two strips of cross cartridge belt on her chest. This woman was part of the Maderistas troops who in 1910 followed General Iturbide in his fight to remove Diaz from power. She was a, such a good soldier then that in less than a, a year, he had already re reached the rank of Lieutenant. Valentina, Valentina, Sonra, Sonra, I am at your feet. If they had to kill me tomorrow, let, let them kill me once and for all. This is a, a part of a song, but the author is anonymous. Um, everything was going very well and uh, nobody suspect, but in a moment of carelessness, 
a college saw Juan's brain and begin to suspect that they final, finally discovered that it was a woman. Uh, Valentina was congratulated for his bravery, but um, that did not prevent him from being expel, expelled from the regiment. Uh, when she wants to return to her family, her brother rejects her for abandoning, they abandoning them along with their sick mother. Afterward, Miss Fosterness following her, one of them is that she, she suffered an accident that left her immobile. During her last days, she was alone and had to beg to survive. Finally, Valentina Ramirez died and his story was forgotten. But no, I don't know, no entirely, since Manuel Maciel Mendez say that she is the woman who inspired the name of the Salsa Valentina. And it's all. Awesome. What a great presentation. And I didn't know this fact about her. Thank you very much, Mariana. Great. Who's coming next? Ah, uh, yes, it's, it's you, Mario. Hello, Mario, are you ready to present? Uh, sorry, it was on mute. So oh, let's go. Whenever you are ready, let's go. Okay. Um... Oh, can you tell me if you... Yes, I can that. watch it. Ready. Well, okay, I'm gonna talk about the vessels at this time. Sorry. And well, for this time, well, who's Jeff Bezos? He was born in 1964 in New Mexico. And Bezos had uh, an early love of computers and studied computer science and electrical engineering at Princeton. Well, this is a little resume for what I'm talking what I'm talking about next. And well, after his graduation, he worked at Wall Street and among other things. And actually, he's CEO in Amazon. And we all know Amazon. Well, his early life and education. Mrs. was born on January 12th in 1964 in Albuquerque, New Mexico, in and to a teenage mother, Jacqueline Gis Jurgensen, and his biological father, Ted Jurgensen. When Bezos was a four years old, his mother remarried Mike Bezos, a Cuban immigrant. Now, Bezos graduated from Princeton University in 1986 with a degree in computer science and electrical engineering. Then Bezos showed an early interest in how things worked and turning his parents' garage into a laboratory and re reaching electrical contraptions around his house as a child. Now, after graduating from Princeton, Bezos found work at several firms in, on Wall Street, included Fittel, Vanguard Trust, and investors firm DE Shaw. And in 1990, Bezos became the D. Shaw's youngest vice president. Uh, sorry. While his currency, career in finance was extremely lucrative, Bezos chose to make a risky move into the nascent world of e-commerce. He quit his job in 1994 and moved to Seattle and target the untapped potential of the internet market by opening an online bookstore. Uh, well, founder and CEO of Amazon.com. Uh, Jeff Bezos opened Amazon.com, named after the main drink, South American River, on July 16, 1995, after asking 3,300 3, friends to beta test his site. In the months leading up to, to launch, a few employees began developing software with Bezos in his garage. They eventually expanded 
operations into a two bedroom house equipped with three sun micro stations. The sun micro stations are these computers, the first that we think we all know. Uh, well, after that, the initial success of the company was metric. With no press promotion, Amazon.com sold box across the United States and in 45 foreign countries within 30, 30 days. And in two months, sales reached the 2,000 uh, week and growing faster than Bezos and his startup, startup team had ambition. Well, after that, Amazon.com went public in 1997, leading many markets analysts to question whether the company could hold its own when traditional retailers launched their own e-commerce sites. Two years later, the startups not only kept up, but also outspread competitors, becoming an e-commerce leader. Well, uh, let's just continue to diversify Amazon's offering within the sale of CDs and videos in 1998, and their clothes, electronics, toys, and among others, while many other dot-coms of the early 90s went bust, Amazon flourished with yearly sales that jumped from uh, five, if I can't remember that number now. Uh, in 1995, over 17 mil billion in 2011, as part of Bezos, 2018 annual shareholder letter, the media tycoon said that the company has surpassed the 100 million paid subscribers for Amazon Prime. And by September 2018, Amazon was valued at more than $1 trillion. And it's the second company to ever hit that record just a few weeks after Apple. Well, in 2006, Amazon launched its video on demand service. It was initially known as Amazon Unbox on TiVo, and it was eventually rebranded as Amazon Instant Video. And now oh, we know it as Amazon Prime Video. In early December 2013, Bezos made headlines when he revealed a, revealed a new experimental initiative by Amazon called Amazon Primer, that it was using drones to provide delivery services to customers. He said these drones would be able to carry items weighing up to five pounds and be capable of traveling within a 10 mile distance of the company's distribution center. And the first primary delivery took place in Cambridge, England on December 7, December 7 2016. And other thing is that Bezos had been eyeing the food delivery market. And in 2011, Amazon announced it had acquired a whole foods grocery chain for 3.7 billion in cash. And well, this is just a quote of Jeff Bezos that if you don't understand the details of your business, you're going to fail. That was all, right? Yeah. But Mario, very good presentation as usual. So we just have like uh, three people missing, yeah, with the presentation. So the next one is going to be Misael. Ready, Misael? You and Dulce are ready, guys? Yes, teacher. If you let me share my, my of screen. Of course, you have become a co-host. So. Come on, Miss Hail, go. Yes, teacher. Hello, classmates. Uh, I'm going to talk about Aristoteles. Uh, uh, uh. 
Uh, okay, he was a philosopher, polymath, and scientific, and he was born in uh, 384 uh, before Christ in Stagira, Greece. Uh, her family, uh, her dad's name uh, was Nicomaco, that was uh, a personal physician to the Macedonian king Amintas III. Her mother's name was Festis, and her brother's name was uh, Arimnesto. Uh, the studies uh, when his father died, uh, Aristotle he was sent to Athens to enter to Platon Academy, in which he dedicated his studies in science and philosophy. Uh, contributions to logic, uh, he is considered the father of logic, of logic, since his studies regarding human reasoning <laughs> help him understand now it works. Contributions to astronomy, he studied the celestial bodies, his observations regarding the positions of the stars and the earth itself led him to create a theory that could explain that the earth is the center of the universe and that in turn explains how it remains static that the theory was called Geocentric theory. Uh, the contributions to biology, uh, he's considered at the same time the father of biology, since he dedicated much of his time to the study of animals, plants, humans, of every living uh, being that he could study, and which led him to make the first classification of living beings. Uh, contribution to physics, uh, his main contribution was the grouping of the four elements that are fire, water, earth, and air, uh, generations of all the beings that make up the universe. And he, he died in 322 uh, before Christ in the city of Chalcis, Greece. And that's all. Thank you, Misa, for the presentation. Who's going to be next? Hello, Rafa. Are you ready with your presentation? Hello, Rafa. Are you there? Do you want to start? Yes, Jim. <laughs> okay, Rafa, let me make you focus. Where are you? Ready, sir. You can present anytime. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, let's go. Okay. Uh, give me a second. Uh, you can see? Yes, yes, we can. Let's go. Well, um, I'm Rafael Garcia, and I will present it about uh, Nikola Tesla. Uh, Nikola Tesla was an uh, scientist. Uh, American uh, scientist, scientist and inventor. Um, he is inventor of electrical and mechanical engineer. Uh, he is, is best known for many inventions in the field in the field of electromagnetism, developed in the late of 19 and early 20 centuries. Uh, Tesla uh, is too um, famous because, because of their inventions and their 
de ideas about the, the, the electrical and the, mechan, and the mecha, mechanism. Uh, uh, Tesla is the son of the, the parents of Tesla are, is from Serbian. He born in the town of Smiljan, a city of 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 uh, Europe. If I remember. I think it's Europe. Yes. Um, her father was a a, was a a priest of the Serbian Orthodox Church in the jurisdiction of. Slim Karlovic, and uh, his mother was a housewife. Uh, her father was a half a, a engineer too. And this is the reason of the Tesla Samus, because he invented the electromagnetic induction. <laughs> and and he included include the, the polarized electrical distribution system and the alternating current uh, motor. Mm, and this is one of the, of the pictures is one of the patients. Uh, it's called Bobina de, Bobina de Tesla. Uh, in 1886, Tesla uh, founds his own company. Tesla electric light and manufacturing. The early inventors disagreed with his plans for the develop, development of an alternating current motor and eventually relieved him of his position with the company. Um, uh, oh, sorry. And he worked as the labor of New York in, in, the, in, the, in, one year, in one year, he support himself and raise capital for his new project. Uh, I forget to include the, the, the project, but uh, he, the people say the project is, is to uh, Tesla uh, create an opportunity to, to create a, ma a time machine, uh, a machine that, that have, have to we uh, can can travel in the time. In I hear uh, I read a uh, history about Tesla and says that in in a in a zone of of the sea there there's a, there's a he does the project about the the, the time machine and and today he was the only person who are too, too close to create the, the time machine. But uh, in this time, in this time, uh, he don't know, he don't have too much uh, uh, resources and time to, to create a time machine. But, but the, the scientist said, says that he was too close to create a, a time machine. Uh, that's all of, of Nikola Tesla. Thank you. It was a very interesting character. Yeah, because you mentioned so many facts that probably we didn't know about him. Um, so yeah. that's all. Yes, you can stop showing your screen if you are so kind. So the last person, it's going to be Fernanda. Hello, Fernanda, are you ready to... What's going on? Yes, teacher. Okay, girl, let's go. Let me make you co-host. Where are you? Hold on. Ready? Let's go.
One moment, teacher. Yes, of course. Can you see? Yes, we do. Uh, hi, my name is Fernandez Alfonso and I talk about Frida Kahlo. Considered one of Mexican great days artists, Frida Kahlo was born on July 6, 1907 in Coyoacán, Mexico City, Mexico. She grew up in the family's home, which was later referred to as the Blue House of Casa Azul. At this school, she first met the famous Mexican muralist, Diego Rivera, was for the first time. Rivera at that time was working on a moral color decoration on the school campus. Frida often watched in and she told a friend she will marry him someday. With the poor physical condition, she is also deeply depressed. She even had an inclination for suicide. Frida Kahlo has been out and in hospital during that year, but despite her heal issues, she has been active with the political movement. She was publicing, publicly reported to die of a pulmonary embolism, but there is a speculation with what said she died of a possible suicide. And this out, teacher. Thanks a lot. Well, everyone, I can see that all of you have already um, passed with your presentation. Okay, then, well, I was telling you that with this, we have finished the presentations and, well, let me have my camera on. And well, with this, we have finished all the activities that have to do with, uh, with the whole semester students. So, well, if I would like to congratulate you for all the things you have done in all this semester, you did it pretty well. I can see that most of you like English and I can feel it here in the classes with your participations, with your presentations and all that stuff. And that really makes me feel fine, yes. And uh, well, obviously uh, today we have finished Global Culture 1, but it's missing just one more Global Culture 2. So I hope that, that you have enjoyed this course, which was online. And I hope that all the things we learned and the things we talked about here uh, would have helped you in some way to learn a little bit more about our world and to see how different, how special, and how peculiar every culture is and every country and every region of the world. And all the things that we have learned here in the class, we had so much fun playing, yes, giving our opinion, presenting and everything. In, in my case, I really had a nice time with you and I feel so grateful to, um, to have the chance to meet you. So, well, if, if you want, maybe, maybe we can stay in touch by, by our, our social media. So in, in a moment, yes, I'm going to, to share what's my, my social media so that we can uh, follow each other if you would like. And um, well, that will really make me feel fine to, to, to keep on being in touch and to know that, that you will like soon finish your major and later you will be working. I don't know, 
would like, I usually like to keep on watching my students like to see what they have done and how they are doing. So in a moment by the WhatsApp group that we have got, I'm going to share some social media. So if someone wants to add me, I will be very pleased to, to have you there if you are so kind, yeah. So congratulations to everyone. Yeah, there's nothing else to say, but to thank you. And on Wednesday, it's not going to be necessary to get connected or nothing because we have finished today. Yes, so thank you so much.